Hi, hello and welcome. It's your Cappy here. Welcome in Cappy Paint. Today we're gonna be painting the Ultramarine. So grab your Mac Crack Blue and let's start base coating. So as always we start from the black uh, base coat and then we're gonna go and foaming it with uh, Mac Crack Blue. In this case I'm using another brush. But I'm using another brush because I love airbrushing. You can use an old brush, brush, no matter. You're gonna get the same result as me. So let's just paint it all blue. Okay, so we have everything blue now. So the second step will be instead of putting wash dark lining or black lining we're gonna be using term black line dark lining because we're making the paint darker so take your macro blue your base color add an equal part of black of a bottom black for example and mix it up add a touch of water so the paint runs smoothly and now just start picking up every line that you will normally pick up with your wash but do it with this it's gonna give you a more natural look. We don't gonna have this stainy look on your miniature. Take your time, do everything, every recess, every panel line. Our next step is to paint everything that shouldn't be blue, black and white. First of all, you're gonna see your progress because when the aquil or the weapons, the joints and the armor are gonna be black, you're gonna see how you're progressing with your armor. You're gonna see the clear state of your armor. So paint black the belt, the joints on the armor, your gun, your uh, holsters, all the, all the parts that shouldn't be blue should be now painted in black. And of course, as you can see, on my wet palette, there's also a splash of macro blue. It's because when you do a mistake, when you're dark lining, you're just getting back to the macro blue and repainting the panel of the armor when you make the where you make the mistake. So this is the point. Paint everything black on this step. Okay, our next step is to etch highlight all the armor panels. So take a part of uh, Calgar blue and macro blue, mix it up in one to one equal parts and start catching all the edges like on a box art. Of course we're not focusing to achieve one-to-one -one box art because we're still trying to uh, get this mini good looking in a certain amount of time but um, this is gonna be like around two hour paint job so we cannot be that precise as a heavy metal painter but you can go and mix using this mix um, catch all the edges on all around the model and then we're gonna follow it using only cargo blue and then the extreme highlight is gonna be uh, done using um, our Fenrisian gray. Okay, our first highlight is here, now time for the second and third. The second highlight is a cargo blue but the pure one and the extreme highlight is gonna be the Fenrisian gray because it's a lighter one. So let's just take your attention, take your time and gently, slowly start scratching your edge highlights all around this backpack for example. Okay, we got your highlights in place, now it's time for painting the gold details. Um, now let's grab the gold retributor armor, the Ranklin flesh sheet, but I'll change it later for Gilliman flesh. And for highlights, we're gonna be using the Auri Gold armor. So gently watch out for your base coat and try to catch only the gold details. The Aquilia, the end of the sword, the little um, ultramarine sign on the sword and this should be all that will be gold. Gold looks ready. Now it's time for your first wash. Go for Gilliman Flesh and put a nice coat all over the gold details, rim and stuff. Okay, so now our gold just gains some depth. Um, to achieve even more spectacular look of your gold, grab your Aubrey Gold Armor and pick only the most raised edges like the top of the skull, the basically edge of the rim on your armor. Make it pop a little bit. It's a silver time. Grab your lead belcher and paint all the silver details. 
the lower part of your gun, the muzzle of your gun, the sword itself and some details on the back of the backpack. Take it all and then we're gonna be washing it all using null oil and putting some highlights using iron breaker. Okay, silver is there, now it's time for shading. Grab your null oil and paint it all over the silver details to gain some depthness on it. Okay, our silver is now shaded. It's time for repainting all the places that shouldn't be that, let's say, staining. Because the wash, if you put it a little bit too much, will be staining in the places. If you want to correct it, go for the lead belcher back on and paint all the edges and stuff. And then, picking an iron breaker, take only the sharpest edge of every detail that are metal. Okay, our armor, our gold, our silver is painted up. Now it's time for the leather parts. Go for Rhinox Hide, Null Oil, Moonfunk Brown and a Karak Stone for the highlights. And just basically paint everything that's made out from leather using Rhinox Hide. Give it a good base color. Okay, our leather need a wash. Go for Null Oil and put it all over the leather parts. We got our leather washed so now it's time for highlighting go for more funk brown as the first thicker highlight and the more extreme highlight will be the karak stone so you don't need to be very neat using the more funk brown but when it comes to karak stone go only for the sharpest edge okay it's time to tune up our black because it's flat and boring Go grab your Thunderhawk Blue, some Abaddon Black and some Rust Grey and start highlighting. The first highlight should be the uh, Thunderhawk Blue mixed with a bit of black and then go for just Thunderhawk Blue and finish it with only the sharpest edge and paint it all using the Rust Grey. Okay, it's time to paint our white details. So let's go and start with an Ultan Grey and we're gonna be highlighting it using White Scar. First, it's our base coat, so the Ultan Grey. Go and paint all the details on the front of the helmet, the um, Ultramarine logo on a shoulder pad and go for the parchment on the Purity Seal. Of course, our base white color is not pure white, it's an off-white color. So you can use a pure white to highlight it. So just edge highlight everything using pure white. In this case, it's a white scar. Okay, we are slowly finishing. Now it's time to paint out the bright eyes and the helmet of the Space Marine. So grab your Mephiston Red and Evil Sun Scarlet and just paint all the eye socket using the Mephiston, then reduce the area and paint 50% of it using the Evil Sun Scarlet and then put only a small white dot in a bottom corner of the eye. Okay, now it's time for final touches. Uh, let's grab your contrast paint. It's a uh, Talasar blue and uh, skeleton heart citadel contrast paints. And using the skeleton heart, paint the parchment on the purity seal. And using the Talasar blue, we're gonna be glazing all over the place in the sword where he has this lit light or something. I don't know what is it. Just take your time and put few little 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 dots of the paint and start gradually building up the glow on the sword if you want to achieve it like this then we're gonna be uh, finishing the base in the meantime I create the base and I paint the rim all over using the seal legend wrap then I put some astro granite all over the base and wash it all using the null oil when it dries so the last step to tune up the base is to pick up some dry pigment from the Vallejo and your old brush and just stipple the pigment all around the miniature. So you can see um, I'm doing it not really precisely, I'm trying to be not neat and to, to, to put some dirt all around his boots to connect the base with the miniature itself. <laughs> 